Hello, my name's Jim Friend, and in this tutorial, we're gonna make this 3D phone transition with Cinema 4D Lite. I found this free mobile phone model on TurboSquid, and I'll link it in the description below. Make sure you download the Cinema 4D version. Open up that Cinema 4D file, and you'll get this. Let's start by making a camera, coming up to the camera icon, clicking once, and making sure we're looking through it by checking the little box next to it. Then let's reset all the coordinates of that camera down in its attributes, taking all of these to zero on the position and rotation, obviously leaving scale. Then let's zoom backwards, just dragging back on the X axis until it's nicely in frame. And we can click on the mobile, just moving it down just so it's in the middle there. So let's start with some animation. I think I want this to last about 50 frames. So I'm going to drag my playhead all the way up to 50 frames. And I'm going to go over to my coordinates, add a keyframe. Then I'm going to take my playhead all the way back to zero and add 360 in the rotation for the heading. Click again to add another keyframe. And then with our playhead selected, we can play that back and see that spinning. Obviously, this isn't quite what we want. We want it to be fast and then slow down. So let's go up to Window, Timeline, F-Curve. If you're used to After Effects, you'll be used to these graphs. So we just want quick in and then a nice ease out there. So let's have a look at that. That looks good. If you found this video helpful so far, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the channel. Let's now animate the Y position, this coming into frame. So back to 50 on our timeline. Select our mobile in the Objects tab. We can add a keyframe on Y, just dragging that Y axis and pulling the phone down out of screen. Just remembering to add another keyframe. Unlike After Effects, we have to add keyframes as we go. Let's play that back. So again, not quite doing what we want. We want it fast in and then a nice ease in. So let's go back and go to our timeline F curve again. Using this drop down menu, clicking on the Y position, using our one and two keys to reposition the graph so we can see it a bit better. And it's gonna be something like this. Let's now animate our camera. I think I want it to start zooming in around 20 frames. So I'm going to click on our camera and our objects, add a keyframe in the Z axis, and then maybe it should be zooming in to about 75 here. And I'm just going to take that Z axis and just keep zooming in until that screen fills our whole frame. So around there, add another keyframe here and we can play that back not quite the motion we want. So let's jump back to our F curve and camera using our one and two keys and clicking and dragging to reposition that graph. And this we want it to be slow in and then speed up so we can actually take it from the other side and go with something like this. Let's have a quick look at that. So now we need to add two things, one being a external compositing tag, which basically means Cinema 4D tells After Effects where the object is in 3D space, so then we can track things onto the screen. Second thing is an object buffer, which we can use in After Effects as a track mat layer to knock out the area for the content on our screen. So let's go up to our mobile in our objects, right click and put render tags, external compositing. And let's just check this box that says solid. Then let's use this plus icon to see the content of our camera. And we're gonna use the screen here, right click, render tags, compositing, and just making sure object buffer is selected in this attributes menu and enabling object buffer one. Then coming up to our render settings, clapperboard with the cog, clicking once, going down to multi-pass and saying object buffer, making sure that's 
selected and this group number is the same as this so one and one and that's all we have to do there let's make sure we've saved this cinema 4d file so with that saved we can jump over to after effects and go import find that file next we want to extract the data that we set up in cinema 4d so making sure we're selected on that layer go up to our effect controls cineware plugin and say extract now you can see there's a red block that's tracked to our screen. So all I've done is taken some screenshots on my phone, stitched them together kind of like a Instagram feed. So I'm going to throw that Instagram composition into the phone comp, make it a 3D layer, pick whip it to the null that we've created, that red screen. And from here, making sure we're kind of towards the end where the phone is straight on we can go to the transform options of that instagram layer and zero out the position scale it down slightly shift it along just into position there so that's nicely tracked to the phone now but we can see it all the way up so we need to use that track map we made to knock it out all we do for that is duplicate the Cinema 4D file layer, put it on top of our Instagram, go into the effect controls, make sure we're either on current draft or current for this, check the box that says Cinema 4D Multipass, and select Object Buffer, press OK. You'll see we get that now. So going to the Instagram layer and using a Luma mat to knock out that so we can see Last thing we can do is just hide this uh, red null that we created and let's have a watch of that. If you're finding playback really slow you can change this to viewport draft and if you want to see the final result change it to current. Well I hope that was useful, if it was please consider giving it a like and subscribe, really helps the channel when making new videos and if you're just getting started with 3D and want to start learning the basics I've got a free course over on my website, there's a link in the description below and here are some other videos that I think you might like.